um, hydraulics, uh, automatic doors and such, and maybe kind of demo some mods or um, community builds in the future. It's still a little bit up in the air, but um, we'll see. But uh, let's go and take a little tour. I just built a tiny little ship here to get there. A little runabout or a worker bee. I'm not sure what I'd call this. Little one-legged monkey. But anyway, let's get out of here. Let's go into first person. Okay, and unlock. Unlock. There we go. Don't scratch the paint. And we're out. So, there she is. Um, I don't know what I'm going to call her. Um, paint isn't finished. Uh, or I was just kind of messing around with the paint, really. But, uh, yeah. She turned out okay. She's quite glass heavy, as you can see. Uh, obviously, we have the engineering section. I tried to cater for all points of access with the engines as well. And we got some lights inside her as well. Not finished, as I say. But, um... Yeah, she just kind of evolved naturally. I had no plan. Ooh. We have a nice kind of glass cathedral front here. With another kind of glass section at the bottom. But, um... Yeah, she just kind of... Grew with the seed. So to speak. Um, we have our command section kind of just rooted in the center. Over here. Uh, going down into a multitude of rooms. Again, no purpose for the rooms as of yet. And then we have our kind of main engineering bay here. Um, it kind of comes to a point. I haven't decided what to do with the back yet. It's literally just flat. But um, I have a crap ton of engines here, naturally. And I've got a little door down there. But let's just fly underneath. And I have a bit of a docking bay. And uh, let's go third person here. Mm. Don't scratch her. Um, be nice to get a door here again. I haven't learned how to do that yet. Oh, did I bang? I think I banged something there. I've already landed. See, there's a big welt here. Anyway, uh, one, and let's just bring her down softly, softly, softly. Okay, she's locked, and we're out. Let me just. That's annoying me now. Character tools. G. Fixing, fixing, fixing. I must have cracked it when I uh, tried to land the ship before. Are we okay? We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, so this is a kind of like a um, hangar dock ingress egress kind of section here um, just some small little viewports just to kind of show what's going on um, but yeah maybe it could be kind of like Star Trek-ish where there's like a force field here of some sort but uh, yeah that's where I kind of that's what kind of evolved down here maybe I'm a little bit heavy on the lights but anyway let's go up the stairs up to the gallery so, health and safety, we have to have banners, or bars, so we don't fall down. Well, this is cool. I like this. I like the way this kind of evolved. That'd be nice now, you know, coming across it like a asteroid or nebula or something like that. And again, we have skylights along here as well. I thought that was nice. And again, stairs all over the place. We have doors to obviously go outside. And we'll have a little better, a bit of a better look outside later on. Um, let me just close this. So, this brings us down to the body of the ship. Again, I, I decided to kind of put in as much glass as I could, because it's nice. Bit of a hole here that I need to resolve. More little skylights. And again, here's a little viewport into our bridge. Everything seems to be offline at the moment. We're still in dry dock. 
And I thought it was nice to kind of put like skylights down the neck of it as well. Maybe not so structurally sound. But they're kind of sunken in a little bit here as you can see. So as to kind of protect them. Oh yeah. And these rooms are all done. They all kind of have skylights as well for natural lighting where it's possible. I know we're in space here so it's not much illumination bar from stars and such and other celestial bodies. And some of them you can actually come down through it's almost three stories. Three decks anyway as you can see. And again they have lights in here as well. Which is good, which is groovy. And ooh, do you know why we're down here? Let's have a look at the bridge. Uh, oh no, wrong way. I'm getting disoriented. This way is the bridge. So everything is kind of like one-way glass, which I like. And we have our ship. Main command section, as you do. And I decided to put a door here as well. To kind of... Um, just give us another kind of point of access if we ever needed to come out. But there's a nice viewport along here as well. You know, if you're kind of coming up against like a, an enemy or not an enemy, but like even just a friendly ship or docking or anything like that as well. This is where we came in initially. But let's go back through the body of the ship. Dun, 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 dun. She ends up being quite a big ship. But where I was going here is the engine room. Which I actually like. It's very loud at the moment. There's a whole lot of going on. So I decided to kind of build this quite big, as you can see, and it's got loads of different kind of layers to kind of go up. Um we have obviously machinery, some screens, a lot of consoles and such like that, buttons and all that jazzmatas. This is where my reactors and gravity generators and gyros are as well. Now I have gravity generators on the bridge just to kind of give us full coverage here. And obviously we have a little door here for some reason. I'm not too sure why. Um, but these things are colossal. And let me see. What are we looking at here? Oh yeah, these are just kind of supporting structures just for the kind of gangways. But I'll show you the gangways here now. This actually also brings us out to another kind of viewport, not a viewport, but a, another access point here as well, if we needed to. And let's go up to the gangways. So again, not decided on the colour yet, this, these just bring us over here for maintenance, I think. Must actually change that, health and safety. And yeah, nothing over here. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. This brings us up to another gangway. Here we have some uh, refineries and such. I want to get kind of like ducting going throughout here as well. And again, just our upper refineries. I don't know whether to go up another layer here, but I think three stories is enough. And then that just brings us back down through the top layer of the ship. Again, I kind of gave access to as many areas as I could through here. With as many windows as I could as well. So I want to crash this thing. <laughs> so, there's the ship. we got some solar panels. I haven't actually kind of put her to the test yet. Um... See, she accelerates pretty okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. She's got a lot of engines. So her mass is four million seventy-eight thousand two hundred kilograms. Yikes! Seventy-four thrusters, fourteen gyroscopes, and she's a big Bertha. Let me see if I can spin her around here. Come on. Where is that 
asteroid that we came from. Must be behind us, I'd say. Can't be it down there, is it? Maybe I should put some more. Oh, there it is. Okay. I like the soundtrack in this game. Now, what I'm actually going to do here. I'm going to turn off gyroscopes. Ah! Because I want to see what the viewport is like if we're flying by stuff. Hmm. Can't really see much down there. Come on. And she's flying by. Well, maybe. This is actually be better view import. Oh, that's nice. Frame rate has taken a bit of a dive with the size of the ship. Maybe what I should do here is right up the front. Um, box, 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 box. Cockpit. Oh no. What would it be under? Control station. Would we do that? I want the. Oh, there it says. Flight seat. Five. Okay. T. And put on inertial dampers. Dampeners, even. You can actually fly in first person here. Oh! But anyway, I just wanted to do that so I could actually stop her. And let me just show you a little bit of the outside in a little bit more close detail. Okay. So here's the front, our glass cathedral. Easy. So it's kind of like a reverse. It goes up high at the back and down low at the front. But that's just like our ship bay. As you can see, I have a lot of glass in here. There's my little ship. And again, we have three decks here. The command... Hmm, yeah. The bridge would be underneath these solar panels. There is our central skylights. And then we have our engines just kind of protected in here. Didn't want them kind of sticking out like... I'm not really happy with these ones. Kind of sticking out low. We have a little tiny little door there. Just at the back of the ship. All alone. And... Turn off. I wonder how close do we need to get for us to be... Interacting with our gravity in the ship. Oh yeah, there we go. So. It's a pretty big ship. You can hear the home of the engines. <laughs> up, 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 up. And let's do some EVA here. That's a big engine. It's a pretty big engine, all right. It'd be kind of fun to see someone running across when you're down below. <laughs> and X marks the spot. Don't run on the solar panels. And here we are down the front. 
I've been actually walked on this ship already. The first time for everything. Maybe I should put some doors there. Hmm. Maybe indeed. Where is that door? Maybe I should put like a walkway on the outside. Possibly. Where's that door? There's that door. Which I left open. So yeah. There's the ship. Don't know what to call her. Don't know what her function would be. Probably like personnel transporters. Not a personnel, but like with so much glass and stuff. Maybe like a liner or something, but it's too small. I don't know. But that was just my kind of like foray into see know what a big build would be like um, but it's not finished yet and I'll probably do another video follow up on this when I'm kind of happy but that's just the progress at the moment but um, yeah if you have any thoughts or opinions just leave them in well I know you have thoughts and opinions but if uh, you want to share any of those thoughts and opinions just leave them in the comment section below and if you like the video don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button as well because your support is always appreciated guys and uh, yeah I've been Irish Trekkie and oh look at this I'm falling, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy. Bye-bye.